boom. So we're going to talk about just how to make a high low gain. Okay, we did this in class as just a demo for anybody who was confused or uh, didn't know how to do it. So first things first, I'm just going to pick a sprite. You don't have to. I'm going to pick a sprite so that um, I have somebody that's talking. Ah, we used Abby before. Let's look down here for somebody else, maybe towards the end. Oh, a snowman. It's my snowman talking. Okay. Oh, or a giant squirrel. Oh, man, that's tempting. Let's go with giant squirrel head. Okay, sorry, snowman. All right, so there's our character that's going to be talking. You can act absolutely like paint your own background. Like maybe you just maybe make it a nice light blue and fill it in. Okay, so there's my picture. All right, now the actual scripts, so I'll put on the sprite. I'll name him Squirrel. Okay, and what I'm going to do is simply uh, start out by saying, well, I know I need to start the program. And I know that I'll, I'm going to use some sort of like pick a random number, right? A random number from 1 to 100. So every time I use this, it generates a different random number. Or who knows, it might be the same one twice. That'd be pretty cool. So as we talked about in class, I don't want to keep every time I, I, I have the user guess, I don't want to go and new random and new random and new random. I want to pick one random number at the start of the game and save it. Now, the way you save information for later or remember information from later is you put it in memory as a variable. So I'm going to say um, the actual like secret answer. OK, I give a really clear name for the variable. And so right at the beginning, when the program starts, I go set that to a random number from 1 to 100. So now when I start the program, there it is. It's 20. Now, whatever I do in the program, that 20 doesn't change unless I tell it to. All right, so then what I need to do is I need to ask the user to guess. I need to say, hey, um, guess my number. Okay, and so it'll pop up down here. And then whatever number they put in, maybe they guessed 34. Now, here is right below the ask is the answer. Okay, so oh, they guessed 34. Next time I ask a question, 56. Now the answer is 56. So this down here is whatever the user responded with. So I do want to ask a question, okay? And then after that, what I want to do is I want to, based on their response, I want to say, um, well, if their response was, you know, like bigger or less than the, and I go to variables and grab my actual secret answer, then I want to say something, right? I want to say like, uh, ooh, like, so what's, so this is their guess right here is less than the correct answer. So I would go, ooh, uh, you need to guess higher, right? So there's my response. Maybe just for one second so it's nice and quick. All right, so here's one response. Whoops. And Control Z will undo if you accidentally drag something to the wrong spot. All right, so I'm going to put this right here and let's try it. So it says 41. Now, if I guess 41, nothing happens because I only have an if less than. Oh my gosh, 100? What are the odds? Okay, so now I'm going to say 60. And it should say, ooh, you need to guess higher. And it did. So perfect. That's working. Let's duplicate that and say, um, if I right click on the green and relabel, I could now say, well, what if it's bigger than? Okay, so if it's bigger than, uh, so let's see. So this time, if I say 10, oh, you need to guess higher. And then I'm, I'm going to change the one saying, if it's bigger, I'll say you need to guess lower. Whoops. Lower. Okay. So now I'm going to stop the program and restart it. If, what? One? What are the odds? Okay. So I'm going to guess five. Oh, you need to guess lower. Okay. So higher and lower are working now. I could duplicate it again. And the last option is relabel this to be equal. So if they're equal, go, you guessed it. Woohoo. Okay, and there's my message. So I can see the answer. So if I guess 33, yeah, you guessed it. So there's the simplest part of the game, except it only asks one question. That's not much of a game. I want to be able to keep guessing, right? So all I need is some kind of loop. Now, I could just use a forever loop. But then the game would never end. Um, I could then put like a stop all in there. But if you're using a forever loop and stopping it under some condition, that's the same as just saying repeat until. So I could put this all in a repeat until 
And what's going to stop my game, right? When does the game end? Well, you got two possibilities, right? At least two. One is the game ends when, I'm going to duplicate this, when you win, right? But there could be a lose. So you could even do something like or, and then keep track of guesses and say or when guesses is less than something, right? Um, now, there's lots of ways to do this. You could also instead use a repeat some number of times, like maybe they have 10 guesses. But if they ever win, then put like a stop all in there. Like if they win, it stops. And if they get to 10 guesses, they lose. So there's a million different ways to do this. I'm going to do a repeat until. OK, so here's my basic program, except you'll notice I've made a mistake here. So watch, I go guess my number. The answer is 33. I'm going to guess 34. Guess lower. OK. What the heck? It just keeps telling me to guess lower. And that's because I only asked once. I didn't put it in the loop. So I'm going to take this ask and I'm going to put it inside the loop. So now I one time set the answer to a random number. Then I start the game. OK, the game asks a question and responds. And then if I ever guess the correct answer, it says you guessed correct and then does not restart the loop. So I could even say down here something like, good job, game has ended. Okay, so I'm just going to do this really quick. I'm going to stop the program. I'm going to start it. So the correct answer is three. I'm going to guess one. Oh, I need to guess higher. I'm going to guess four. Ooh, lower. I'm going to guess two. Oh, higher. Let's see, three. Woohoo, you guessed it. Good job. The game has ended and everything stops. Okay, so that was the most basic version of the high-low game. I'm going to end the video here. I'll also, in the comments, um, share a link to this project, and I'll add some comments here. Just right-click, add comment, and I'll just say, you know, like, uh, uh, one time, choose a random number between 1 and 100, and save it as a variable. Okay, so I'll add comments, but that was the video. Good luck, or good luck.